Hi, I'm Anna the Wolf, and welcome. Welcome to this, the 14th in a series of transformative tales. And this tale finds you on the edge of the pond, having just left Coyote's Dance Circle from chapter 13. And you're walking along the pond's edge, just really enjoying the afternoon, contemplating what it is for your feet to be bare and walking along the wild mint and all the smells coming up from the mint. And it's just a glorious day. When you hear some soft snuffling noises, <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. And you lean in and you hear the most sad snuffling noises that you've heard in a long time. And you look down at the edge of the bank and there's River Otter walking back and forth going, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... I don't know. And he's by himself pacing back and forth saying, I just don't know over and over again. And you think, well, that's a little, a little strange. So you sit down and you don't have any words of wisdom to share with them, but it seems like in no time, Crawdad comes up out of the water and sits next to River Otter and says, What's going on, River Otter? You seem really, really perplexed. River Otter says, yeah, I forgot something and I don't know what it is. And I know it's very, very important. And I even made a little stack of stones over there to remind myself what it was I was supposed to remember. And there's the stack of stones. And I don't know. I don't know what it is. And Crawdad says, you know, maybe you just haven't thought about it in the right way. Maybe you're just not going about this right. I think probably I could help you remember if you want me to help you. And River Otter said, yeah, sure, Crawdad, that'd be great. What, what can you, ow, dang it. Crawdad kind of chuckled and he said, yeah, I pinched you. You remember now? River Otter said, no, no, actually, I don't remember, but I do now have a welt on my paw. Why did you do that? He said, well, that's how I handle problems. That's why I've got this one little tiny claw and this one great big claw, because sometimes when I have problems, I just like to battle it out. River Otter said, has that, has that helped? Have you really solved your problems? Looks kind of like you just got one of your limbs ripped off. He said, yeah, I've still got another one. I'm ready to go again. I'm ready for it. River Otter said, okay, Crawdad, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. But man, that's smart. I don't think I could take any more help. And so Crawdad says, ha, fine, have it your own way. And sidles back down into the water. Now River Otter's not sure what to do. So... He dips down into the water and comes up and is swimming along and his old friend Carp, who's brilliant, flashing in the sun, kind of swimming next to him. He says, what's going on with you today, River Otter? Things well? River Otter said, well, Carp, actually, I've forgotten something very important. And um, Carp, being the ever thoughtful one, says, what'd you forget? Carp, I can't remember what I forgot, or else maybe, maybe I could tell you. Carp says, oh, you know what? You know who's really, really good at finding answers? And River Otter said, please don't say crawdad, because I already have, I have a mark here, and uh, I can't handle that again. And he said, no, 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 not not crawdad. I think we've all learned to avoid him when conflict is involved. Well, actually, crawdad makes conflict when it doesn't even need to be present. So really who you need to find is Kingfisher. Kingfisher has a way of finding answers 
solving things that we've forgotten from long ago. And River Otter said, that would be so fantastic. Where's Kingfisher? And Carp said, that's just it. He's really hard to find and he's really fast. So the best thing you can do is sit in one place and wait until he comes to you. So River Otter said, thanks, Carp. I really appreciate that. I, I really need to figure this out. And he swam off to the shore and he sat and he sat and he sat. And then just before evening came, he saw it, some little wing beats. And up on a twig extended over the very edge of the pond sat Kingfisher. And River Otter said, Kingfisher, I've been told that you can find things that are lost, things that are long forgotten. Is that true? And Kingfisher said, yeah, that is my specialty. So River Otter said, you know, um, I don't even know what I've lost, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to get it back. And Kingfisher said, that is no problem, my friend. I am so glad that you've come. Um, let's just sit together for a while and watch the water. That's the first thing we need to do is just kind of sit together. And River Otter was already feeling better. He's like, you're not going to come down here and peck me, right, for having a question. He said, no, 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 that's silly. No, no, no. But you do need to remain quiet. You can't be thinking about getting pecked or clawed. You just need to sit with me for a while. He said, oh, yeah, OK, let's sit. Let's sit and watch the sun reflect on the water. He said, yeah, you feeling good and relaxed? He said, yeah, I feel great. That, that's fantastic. And Kingfisher said, now here comes phase two. And he went shooting out of the tree at warp velocity and went head first diving into the water. And all there was that remained of Kingfisher was a little splash on the surface of the water and he was gone. And River Otter was like, whoa, Kingfisher, where did you go? Is it something I said? I can't believe it. Oh no, Kingfisher. But it wasn't anything he said. It was just how Kingfisher hunted. He was the king of fishers. And he was far down into the pond now. So far that no one could really even see what was happening, let alone River Otter, who sat on the shore going, oh, I hope he, I hope he finds what I forgot. And sure enough, a few minutes later, up shot Kingfisher like an arrow back up into the tree. And in his beak, there was a little shiny gold package hanging from a string. He said, I found it. I found it. Exactly what you need, River Otter. And he tossed it from the branches and River Otter clapped it up and held it. And he opened it up and it shone like brilliant liquid amber. And he found that perfect, beautiful sunshine, that warm glow, that self, that knowing that each and every one of us has deep within if we fish for it. It's exactly what each one of us has forgotten, that most essential self. I thank you so much for joining me today on this transformative tale of the Kingfisher. And I hope that you'll join me for another one in the future. I love telling tales and I'm so glad you joined me. Thank you. <laughs>